community in silos in all these cities. Uh, for example, Goa itself will be working with a lot of small groups uh, building software, free software. The, and, and this event aimed to bring all these under one umbrella and uh, which and, and aiming, you know, this will uh, help all of us. Uh, for example, I'm using uh, one open source software and some other person might be using proprietary alternative to the same. Uh, so the other person might start uh, find out more about it and uh, may, you know, kick up their proprietary software with this open source. Uh, so, uh, so once again, uh, thank you all of you. We have seven speakers today, seven talks today, and one panel discussion. Uh, the panel discussion is going to be more more like open discussion, uh, where all of you can ask questions or share your thoughts on how we can create free and open source software community in Goa. Uh, so, this is the opening slide I started giving in all the events that we do. Uh, so, I'm Vishal and I work for FOSS United. FOSS United start, started with the aim of, again, uh, bringing all the FOSS communities together. So, India uses free and open source software heavily. I mean, we have 100 plus billion dollar value startups, all built on top of mostly free and open source software. But we produce very little. Uh, the proportion is quite low in terms of uh, in, in when we see the consumption versus creation of quality free software. Uh, so we started with the aim to see projects like Wikipedia, Linux coming out of India, and we have a lot of talent, and I believe we'll do it in coming years. And we all started seeing already a lot of projects. So I'm going to talk about how we, uh, what activities and how we have been doing it and our plans and uh, other, uh, the way we do it. So I'm Vishal Arya, you can find me on uh, internet with Vish Arya, with W I S H A R Y A. So, uh, so we started in January 2020 uh, with a conference, India OS, now it's called India FOSS. Uh, we are doing the third edition of this uh, India FOSS conference in October in Bengaluru. So, we have, uh, so in the last uh, three and a half years, we have uh, done events in 13 cities uh, and six of them have regular monthly meetups like this where we invite people to speak about their projects it could be two hour, three hour events uh, and the long day has, uh, I mean long day event like Goa Fast we have done in 13 it's, it's more like yearly event than regular so we have 7500 plus members who have participated in all these events uh, and we have done 55 plus events see in the first column uh, the last row uh, with the help of 100 plus volunteers we have been able to uh, delivered 350 talks which uh, acknowledge or uh, showcase FOSS projects. We also help, uh, we also believe that the social organization should use FOSS, leverage FOSS to uh, run their system and make sure it, uh, the money doesn't go into the highly uh, subscribed, highly uh, charged proprietary tools. So we have been working with a lot of NGOs, social organizations who use or promote FOSS uh, to run their organization, to run their day to day, uh, have their day to day jobs. Can somebody go in? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we also uh, have a platform where we teach programming and uh, things related to programming, not just limited to, but uh, it could be, uh, we start, we were open with 
just programming language earlier, but we recently switched to uh, the idea where we ask people to teach whatever they like, uh, which again should be uh, aligned with the FOSS philosophy, which means sharing uh, the code, the source, and how they do it. So we have pro we have a platform where we have live courses. I think this is uh, not the latest number. We have six live courses and five is upcoming. Uh, I'll talk more about in later slides. So we conduct monthly meetups uh, in different cities. So far it's in uh, six cities, Mumbai, Bengaluru, Cochin, Delhi, Chennai, Pune. And we aim to have regular meetups in Goa as well. I hope a uh, lot of people might like that uh, we have this free and open source software conference happening in Goa and it should keep continue. Uh, any any response that should we have this regularly? Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. And are you volunteering if you are based out of Goa? Yes. There are already two years and there are many more. <laughs> Is it? I'm just listening from you. I want to hear more. Uh, should we have this more regularly? Yes yes, 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 yes. Thank you. So, the goal of this event is to have more regular meetups like this. Uh, so, we conduct monthly meetups again to engage the developer community and, and discuss how we can. Uh, so, it could be that the monthly meetups is mostly about uh, me, uh, like, like the conference itself, but a shorter uh, duration, two, three hours. We do. Uh, India FOSS, which is the yearly flagship event of FOSS United. Uh, we have, this is the third edition we will be doing this year in October. You can check out uh, this link fossunited.org slash events. I mean, you can see a slide uh, link at the end of this in case you are interested to find more about each slide. So, yeah, like I mentioned, we have six city chapters. We do monthly meetups over there. I am hoping Goa will be in the seventh slide, uh, seventh num in the number. Uh, yeah, so we give grants to the uh, developers who are building open source, free and open source software, uh, valid free and open source software. So we have been uh, given 13 grants so far. So we used to give big grants like 30 lakh and it's all equity free. Uh, we give it to support to them so that they can continue working on it without the uh, need of or the, you know, uh, spending their time on how to get funds. Uh, without the uh, you know the time spending on other things like funding, and we apart from the grant we have a, a Telegram community of 4,000 plus people, and a lot of uh, people are there uh, to interact to help get help from others. So uh, currently we give grant up to six lakh per year, which is 50,000 per month. So if you are working on any project, do check out uh, slash grant on our website, fossunited.org. Um, so like I said, we built platform to, uh, so that people can learn uh, more about it or you can also create courses if you are passionate about training, teaching. We have a grant of one lakh for the creators. Uh, so do check it out, mon.school. By the way, mon is French word for my. So my school. Uh, so we have a job portal where people can post jobs if you're looking for, if I think somebody was uh, telling me they're looking for some job, uh, some hiring some people, so they can check out job board, they can post free po uh, post the job openings, and the people who are looking for can also find out. So we, like I mentioned, we have been uh, working with social organization, and uh, like I said, we believe in uh, the uh, fact that free software has been created with aiming you know that it will help more people in the society uh, and the NGO have the similar agenda they want to help help uh, people who has uh, who, are, who are not fortunate enough to get the uh, whatever we a lot of people who get who are getting into good colleges so all the social organizations uh, uh, we promote that uh, we, we promote and we work on the fact that uh, all the NGOs slash social organizations should get this free software uh, into uh, as their day-to-day -day service, so uh, as their day-to-day -day system. So we formed this uh, alliance called OSS. Uh, this is still uh, WIP work in progress. We have we have been partnering with a lot of 
people in the ecosystem, starting from the vendor who give, who provides service to NGOs, uh, to the to the ment to the companies who can mentor them uh, while they are building the system. Uh, so, you can check out oasishq.org. Uh, so, we also uh, work with try to you know. So our aim is to uh, you know have FOSS should be used by government as well. The public money should not go into proprietary software. It should go to the uh, the, the place where it has uh, the best impact. So we promote the fact that the government should have a law or a public policy where the government funded body should use must use uh, free and open source software. And uh, we have been uh, working with. Taxishila a think tank uh, and trying to draft a public policy where uh, we, we uh, point out few things that they can start uh, and how they can uh, go about it having a false policy it's, it's, it's a tough thing to do I mean I'm I think this is not gonna be uh, immediate but I'm hoping a few people might understand in the government and slowly adopt it over time so yeah, do subscribe to our newsletter if you want to get updated what is happening at FOSS United. It's FOSS90.org slash newsletter. We recently launched uh, FOSS Club for all the college students. Uh, if you are interested in uh, having a similar culture uh, where you uh, want to see more people, people building softwares, open source softwares, uh, do check it out. Uh, FOSS United over these last clubs, you can apply for lead to the club of your college. And all of this is possible with a lot of companies who are backing us, who support in the idea of creating a community of free and open source software, who support in the idea of giving grants to the people, individuals who are building free software for their livelihood, for some uh, run over, uh, take over time until they got some way to find out. So we have uh, 11 partners. So you can check out if you want to be a partner. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, you can see the more details on uh, the link slash partners. Yes, that's it. Uh, uh, do follow us on. Uh, we have Mastodon too. Sorry, I didn't uh, bring here. We have a Twitter community of 4,000 people. We have we do updates. We share updates on Force United on our Twitter. Yeah, thank you so much, all of you, once again for joining us here. I'm hoping all of you are gonna enjoy a lot. Uh, there are a lot of the list of a uh, lot of uh, every uh, speaker are gonna share some information which will help us in one way or other tomorrow, uh, today or tomorrow. So yeah, thank you once again.